Alrighty, thanks again for joining me here on 3 Minute Knives, where we go over the ins and outs of a particular knife in three minutes or less. Today, we have something that, that I've been wanting to try for quite a while now. This guy's been out for a couple years. I wanted to give it a shot, um, so I found one and I got it. This is the Brian Ty Tie and Friends Tie Fighter. The Tie and Friends Tie Fighter. Now, this is Brian Ty's mid tech version of his custom Tie Fighter. This is the Brian Ty Tie Fighter, the CRKT version, which is a budget knife. This one's a little bit more expensive. Uh, these run 220 to 270 ish in that in that neighborhood. Um, they're getting a little harder to find now. You can still find them some places. Uh, let me go with the specs real quick. Overall length 8.875 inches. Blade length 3.75 inches. 0.20 inches thick. It's got a thick blade stock, but you know it's very sharp from the factory. It cuts, you know, actually really nice. It's going to cut anything you needed to cut, basically. Um, this one is a drop point. They also come in a Tonto version, hollow grind. One thing I wish they would have used a better steel. They use 154 cm on these. I think for the price, that they definitely could have jumped that up a bit. It's got a satin. Stone wash finish, which is actually really nice. I kind of like it. Plain edge, they do not make a serrated version here. Handle length 5.125 inches, a little over half an inch thick. Aluminum handles, which you know the handles feel really nice. They're a little pointy, sharp, especially compared to this guy. This guy's nice and smooth all, all the way around. Um, there's right hand tip up only. You have your signature Brian Ty pocket clip, which is really nice. You got this little ceramic ball in there. Slides into the pocket nicely. Runs on ceramic bearings. One thing I do not like T5 pivot. I hate it. It feels like you're going to strip it anytime you make any little adjustment on there. And then on this side, you got this little set screw down inside there. So you got to use a little 1 16th Allen wrench to get all the way in there. And it's kind of a pain in the butt to uh, get this thing centered if it gets off or if you have some blade play, which I do right now. Um, I do not like that about it. The action is pretty smooth. This is right out of the box, pretty much. I love a good button lock, and Brian Ty does some great ones. This one is one of my favorites. So smooth. This one, not as much. For the cost, I think they could have done better. I like it, but I don't know if it's a keeper. Tie and friends, TIE Fighter.